Oh! Wrong side. Wrong side. Clap Start again. again. Muscle gain. You are. Five usually. reasons you cannot gain muscle. One of them is going to be blood glucose checking. Second one, nose strips. <laughs> 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 so yeah, the five reasons you're not gaining muscle, what to yeah. do about it, what to change. Probably I mean, gonna be pointless I like think usual. It's better you take the lead on this. She so reckon? I reckon so. Yeah. <laughs>you should really be training each body part more than once a week. If we're talking bro split, probably not as good. Just because Phil Heath does it, just because Kai Green does it, does not mean it's the best way for you. They are enhanced, they have everything else on point, they have lots of training experience. Um, and also, do they do it? Well, do they? That's the thing. Because they say when, they, say they when the it. magazines print it, are they actually talking to Phil Heath or Kai Green? Knows, or is it mate? just an example of a plan that yeah. you could do? You don't need to do 50 sets on shoulders no. like, in a day for your shoulders to grow. You can train them over the course of the week. You can split that up into three lots. Like, you'll hear people go, oh, that fucking session was brilliant. I couldn't walk for two days after. I couldn't walk for two days after? Pointless. Is that a good session? No. I don't know. Pointless. Absolutely. Don't get fucking run over by a bus then. You're not going <laughs> to walk for fucking two weeks then, will you? Yeah. Is that good? Is that good for muscle gain? Yeah, go for it. Why not? Must, make, must work. It, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, if it hurts, it, it hurts. It works. Yeah. Punch me in the fucking face, will you? Yeah, because like, that one all about doms as well. Oh yeah, I didn't get doms, so it doesn't work. No, rubbish. Rubbish. Just because you didn't get doms does not mean you didn't grow any muscle that session. No. Ridiculous. So think about it like this. Like, let's say if you're gonna do, say, four exercises um, per, per body part, or, or say five, and we've got three sets each, so that's 15, right? Good maths. Good maths. Very yeah. sharp maths. That's, there, that's why I changed it to five. I know my five times <laughs> yeah. So let's say you do it all in one day. And like, let's say the first eight sets, nine sets are quite good. But then after that, you're probably going to fatigue a little bit because it's the same mm. muscle group. You're, you're then tiring. Your load might go down. Your reps, your sets might not be as good, uh, as well performed. Then if you think about it a different way, and like, like let's say you split that same 15 sets up over two sessions, like an eight and a seven, then all of a sudden, you're not fatiguing halfway through your session because you've only got eight sets in that one in that one session, and then you've got seven sets again. You've yeah. still done 15 over the week, but you can probably use better form, a bit more load, and hit your reps and sets. I can't move now. Yeah. Number two. You're training bad form. Pathetic form, actually, most um, people. How many people? Well, that's the church bell game. That is the church bell. The bells. Um, you love the bell. <laughs> good one. Well done. <laughs> how many people have you seen in the gym, like, half squatting or doing laterals with their trap bicep curling and it's pretty much a front raise? Or just wearing tights. That's yeah, bad form. That just different kind form. of form. That's the reason people don't grow, is they're not actually training the muscles they're actually trying to train. So the amount of times you see a lateral raise, that's actually just traps or... You see a bicep curl, it's actually just all shoulder. No wonder people find it difficult to grow muscle groups because they don't actually train them. You think that just moving the weight from A to B is enough, but it's actually not. So like, again, something like a dumbbell row that's supposed to be for your lat, you see people and they're just, they're just flexing the, the bicep pretty much to, to yeah. get the weight up. So what you should be doing is you should be working on perfect form, stretching and then squeezing the muscle uh, throughout its whole range. And then that way you're going to get stronger through its whole range. And then you're going to develop the whole range, the whole range, the whole range. And then you're going to develop the muscle more optimally than obviously yeah. if you're just training in a partial range. I think a lot of the time people think about weight training, they're just always trying to load more weight on the bar, more yeah. weight on the bar. And actually what you need to do, a lot of people need to do is once they've hit a certain weight for a certain number of reps, increase the number of reps, slow the movement down, control, squeeze, and then you can go up with yeah. the weight. People focus far too much on progressive overload and progressive overload, it has so many variables. You don't have to increase yeah. the weight every single time. No. And that's the biggest problem. People think that more weight on the bar equals more muscle. And that's just not the case. No. On to the next one. Oh, shit. Wish. This table, we could have picked the better table. I know. I, know. I want to pick it. Point number three. Point number three. Point number three, number three is that you don't eat enough. No. Nope. Been there. Consistently. Guilty. Enough. You think that you do. Yeah. But you don't. Some people do this. They have like one big day and they yeah. think, oh, I know I do eat a lot. I had a, lot, I had a big day yeah. with all that food and then they try and rein it in. Muscle gain doesn't really work like that. No. And then again, also, a lot of people who are trying to gain muscle might approach their diet with a bit more of a bro approach. Yeah. So you might be eating a lot of, you know, decent single ingredient foods. But it might not be amounting to enough calories that you need to provide the surplus to grow. Because a lot of those bro foods as well, like you think about rice, you think about potatoes, again, just carbohydrates really. And again, the meats they use, have got a little bit of fat and a little bit of protein, but with the amount of fibre you're going to be eating from all the veg as well, you're not going to want to then eat loads of food. Yeah. 
the hardest thing when you're trying to eat, look, eat enough calories is actually getting enough micronutrients in because you tend to shy away from vegetables and go towards high calorie things. Um, so some really good tips for that is making sure that you add oils to some of your meals or adding nut butters to meals is a really, really simple way of getting some calories in. Um, things like cereals in the evening, a couple of bowls of cereal, really easy way of getting carbs in. Um, adding things like honey, Uni, 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 uni. Add, add, add only, uni. only if you're from Holland. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah>. Honey, <laughs> peanut butter. Think to things that you're already eating. So you might yeah. be having a bowl of oats or something like that, or you might be having a protein shake. Yeah. Like add those in, blend it in, and then you're not really going to see that added volume. And you've got to do it consistently over time because what happens is all your body will start to upregulate certain things, like you upregulate your knee. You'll tend to feel a bit hotter. So that number will have to move as well. Don't just think, oh my, my bulking macros are three thousand, then just yeah. stay there forever. Like you might need to go above that. Your body will adapt to those calories a little bit, not fucking crazily, but it will a little bit. And then you have to go up again. Like don't. You hear some people go, oh, all you need is ninety calories extra a day to get Bollocks. muscle. Absolutely ridiculous. You don't. How, you can, you, how can you quantify it? How can you quantify what it? Quantify what it? if you walk a bit more that yeah. day? What happens if your volume goes from the gym slightly? Like all these little things can really affect that ninety calories. Yeah, two to three hundred calories. Two I would go calories. Any more than sort of 500, I wouldn't go above because you're just going to get fatter quicker. So the research suggests that you, de you, you don't gain any extra muscle by doing the fucking great big bulk. Yeah. Um, so sort of under 500, I usually stick people in about two to 300, maybe 400, depending on yeah. how quickly I see their weight coming up. And that's the thing, you're going to have to keep an eye on your weight and keep an eye on your lifts in the gym. As long as those things are going up slowly at a decent rate, you're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs>
it's usually because you do the same thing every single time, and that is give up on muscle gain because you feel a little bit. Yeah. They use the word fluffy, fluffy don't they? Yeah. Don't really not, like fluffy. That not fluffy. Not fluffy. Not fluffy. Fat. Um, but yeah, that's that's one of the the biggest things I think when it comes to to doing this is that it is doing it for an extended period of time. You hear yeah. a lot of people say, "Oh, you need to do it for two years." It's like okay, that's a quite a long time. A, but long a lot time. of people don't even do it for longer than three months. When you see these eight week bolt plans, twelve week bolt plans, what are you going to do? You're not going to build anything. You're not, no. and then you'll just start to back off. Yeah. Like give yourself a good amount of time. Like I, I'm talking a year. So when it comes to this, and obviously keeping on track over time, you want to track your lifts, you want to track your weight, and as long as those two things are generally going in the right direction you're probably going to be gaining a decent amount of muscle tissue alongside it. Mm -hmm. The odd mini cut here and there, just a tiny things up, is going to be useful, but don't stay in those sorts of phases for too long. Don't just go into a cut, it's called a mini cut, for a reason. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share this with your mates. We do like being shared around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.